think that the folks who are involved with Celestis in all of the different ways are creating a new golden age. Their investment is an investment in the future as well as the past, honoring the past in the present and creating the future because this is enabling the student launch program. It's enabling the children and the kids who are dreaming of going beyond the earth to fly payloads, to experience space flight, to experience the technology, and to build this new golden age and enable their dreams. All right, well, welcome to uh, Up Aerospace at Spaceport America. And uh, today, we're going to, or tomorrow morning, we're going to launch uh, the SL-4 rocket to approximately 75 miles in space, landing 35 miles that way in the White Sands Missile Range. And uh, this is the control center where everything happens. Now the most important position is this one right here, and that's the launch conductor. And that's Jerry Larson, president of UP Aerospace. And when it gets down to T minus 15 seconds, he arms the rocket, and at T minus zero, he flips this button up, pulls it down, and the rocket takes off. The conditions at six in the morning have been really good and we expect to have a great flight. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. President of UP Aerospace. Well, thanks, Charlie. Uh, well, it's nice to have you here. It's, um, we take the launching your payloads very seriously. Uh, the rocket behind you is called the Space Loft rocket. Uh, it weighs about 800 pounds. It's got a solid rocket motor as the back end of it, and uh, it's going to burn for about 12 seconds. And in that 12 seconds, it's going to be, at the end of that, it's going to be going almost 4,000 miles per hour, if you can imagine that, uh, a mile a second. Then the payload uh, will start to come back in, and it'll fall all the way to about a mile off of the ground. And at that point, the computers will sense that it's a mile off of the ground, and will deploy the drogue. We'll come out, we have a small parachute, it's, it's uh, four foot, it's about so big. That'll slow it down and reorient it so it's not flat, it'll be vertical like that. <clears throat> and it'll slow it down and then the cutters will release the drogue and the main chute will come out. So that's kind of how the, the mission will go. This will be the voice you hear on Mission Control Countdown tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So now you can say you've, you've, you've well, seen you in the flesh. I look forward to it. Oh, you're welcome. So this is an extremely awesome thing to be able to offer to our families. And now that I've done it for myself and I'm here, this is going to help me to present that to the families that we serve. So I encourage everybody to pass the word because a lot of people don't even know this exists. And when they do, it's a pretty amazing thing. Thank you. You follow NASA and space. He loved flying. He loved everything to do with space. And I was very proud of him to, uh, to do this with Celestis to, to get him involved. And, uh, in this program. In the meantime, he also raised three kids and three grandkids, but he also uh, uh, was uh, just, uh, he was my hero, and uh, I can only say that more and more than once. If I could ever, if I could ever fill his footsteps, I'm 61 years old and I haven't filled them yet, and I probably never will. Um, as mayor of the city of truth, the consequence of it, it is my pleasure to welcome Celestis back to New Mexico for their um, third flight from Spaceport America and celebrating their 10th worldwide launch. That's, uh, that's very impressive. Um, I was pleased to hear about the science and technology uh, goals that Celestis has uh, invested in our younger generation, um, as well as the offerings that it has um, for the devoted final tribute to those loved ones that have passed before us. I'm happy to hear that Spaceport America will be the destination for Celestis in future years, and we look forward to welcoming you back to New Mexico each time there is a launch. Celestis believes in the sacred trust of its clients and further always vows to treat your loved ones with the highest dignity deserved. To those business individuals here this afternoon, I want to thank you for your commitment and wish you future success in the aerospace technology business. To those family members here this afternoon, please accept my sincere condolences on the passing of your loved one. I do wish them a glorious journey to space. Thank you, and again, welcome to Truth or Consequences. To let the Earth quickly return to health, you must bring the people with this kind of spirit to the Earth. The more the better. I'm going to work with Charlie and with Charlie's team 
and then uh, continue to work into this space business. So hopefully we can bring back the Earth more healthy environment. 如果能影响更多的人，我相信我们的地球很快就可以见到它的笑容。In the future, we can look forward. The Earth will earn his smile again because we all develop more into this field. 所以我在此也也继续给 Charles 鼓励加油。<笑> So we like to use this a great opportunity to thank Cherry to give us this opportunity, and then we also want to encourage Cherry and his whole team uh, continue to work. Really, the reason we're here, and that's remembering the um, the participants on our flight. Um, as I mentioned after Bill spoke, every one of them is a story, and we we can't really tell everybody's story. So what I will do. In this next segment, as I'll read to you the names and the flight capsule message of the participants on the Pioneer flight. Audrey Merwin Bates, all promises made. John David Belson, a dream come true. Larry A. Cuellar Jr., have a wonderful journey, Dad. Charles Wallings Devere. The third, beam me up, Scotty. Leroy Arnold Dickens Jr. to infinity and beyond. James J. Goodwin the second, stars will shine brighter. Michael Lee Graves, lest we forget. Philip F. Green, we miss you. Fulfill your dreams. Nancy Lewis Johnson, I am where I wish to be. Frank T. Kantrowitz, I love you, Dad. Love, Carrie. The Livingston family, have a great flight, Mom. William J. Loomis, a flight for our dad. James D. McKernan, Dad, your dream came true. You made it to space. Mr. Powell, White. Patricia J. Patterson, somewhere over the rainbow. Edwin Resto, I'm not the man they think I am. I'm a rocket man. John Roger Sims, eagles soar. I am still alive. Christopher Andrew Smith, among the stars. Ralph Bradshaw White, Ralph Bradshaw White, friends and relatives. Those are the participants on tomorrow's Pioneer flight. It was a thrill that he finally made it, and friend Celestis made it happen. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of my dad, and I'm so proud to be a uh, part of this whole system and launch. And I hope very, I wish Celestis uh, the very best. I hope you uh, get to uh, repeat this for a lot of people a lot of times. It was awesome. Ceremony and ritual is very important in funeral service, and families don't like the quick once and over thing. So the fact that it, it spanned over a couple of days and things happen every day, there were special events going on, 
uh, from the tour, which people are able to experience exactly what's going to happen. They're seeing everything leading up to the final launch. And I think that was pretty amazing. I think our families would be very, very happy with this type of memorialization. So Pat, tell us a little bit about, um, uh, about how Celestis involvement here at this launch and, and previous launches and perhaps future launches is, um, is, is good for the spaceport and good for New Mexico. Well, fortunately, we have you all as partners, and everybody who's a partner with us on the student launch program actually contributes to its success. It takes a lot of hands to support this program because it's a year-round education program. To provide annual access to space for students, we have to buy the rocket, and we have to pay for the education program, and in many cases, we buy the uh, materials for their experiments, for their payloads. So, it's all a synergy to help us provide this annual access to space and increase access to space for people globally. Every success builds on itself. Now this is the fourth launch that we've been involved with up aerospace where we've funded student experiments to fly. So we have been very fortunate to get through it together and come out the other side. And. Uh Last question, was this, uh, was this an exciting day for you? Success. I'm really reminded here at this event of Celestis' link to creating a new golden age of flight. It's a breathtaking experience. What a wonderful opportunity it is to be building the future.